Greetings and happy day to you folks. Welcome to this present given to us by the Lord Almighty, Yahuwah. For we open this gift called today. And let's put our faith, our trust, and hope in Him, the Ancient of Days. Let's put our faith and put all of our heart on Him. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. My dear beloved mother made this a long while back and she made it so that you, a total stranger, may see this and know that God Almighty sent His Son so that we may be righteous with God by His sacrifice on the cross. He bared the weight of the world, all of the sin of the world, for us so that we may be living in His well and His love. Today, folks, we're going to be reading from Psalm 34. And in Psalm 34, it is a psalm written by David. And uh, Lord, hear our prayer. May your words and may this message from the Bible, may it manifest in our lives. May we learn from it. May we grow from it. May we receive this word and may we go out and rejoice and praise the Lord with hearts ablaze and may we boast in the Lord and be compassionate and slow to anger and full of kindness and full of the spirit. All right, Lord, thank you for your word. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Oh yeah, this is Psalm 34 and this is the word of the Lord given without any caffeine or any kind of mood-altering substance. This is the straight, unadulterated word of the Lord on a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm in the Northwest, but wherever you are, you are loved amazingly by our Creator who took the form of a man, was born of a Virgin Mary, lived a blameless, holy life, showed us how to live, showed us how to have faith, showed us how to walk in his footsteps. For you call upon the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord Yahushua HaMashiach, and you believe in your heart that he is Lord and confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. But let's continue. We're on Psalm 34. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days 
that he may see good. Well, keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Put all your hope and trust and faith in God. He will deliver you from hardship, from oppression, from pain, from anxiety, from the weight of the world. Trust in him with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love him with all your heart, soul, and mind. And be fearful of him only, for he is the great creator, and he is the king of kings. When we fear the Lord, we are obedient, and we walk in righteousness and holiness, living not in iniquity, but living in freedom and peace, and walking in the Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit is kindness, humility, long-suffering, patience, meekness, and is having joy and zeal for life. When you are afflicted, when you're in pain, when all seems lost, turn to the cross. For in the cross we are free, we are free, yes indeed. Lord, you plant that seed, now let's take heed. Let's carry our cross in the land of the lost. Let's floss out the sin and remember him again. How great is thou art, sing to me, how great is thou art, how great, how great is thou art. And Lord, I lift your name on high, Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life, I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth. To show the way from the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. All right, one more hymn. We're just doing a little worship. You guys can sing along if you want. Holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Our God is an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Go out today and be the light, for Christ is the light of the world. And if we believeth on Him, He's in our heart, and we have the Spirit of Christ the Holy Spirit, to go out and reach and teach and love and spread the gospel of hope and peace. Let's unite the body, unite the church. We are followers of Christ. Let's not label ourselves Presbyterian or Baptist or Lutheran or Seventh-day Adventists or Catholics or Methodists. Let's unite as one in all Seek that gospel of love and go forth and be it and show it and pray for others. Pray without ceasing and help heal the world with the Spirit. Pray for people to be healed and delivered from sickness 
from the strongholds and lies of the enemy. For the enemy is a liar, and we rebuke his ways in the name of Jesus Christ. Go out and be the voice of God. Go out and be the change wanted in society. Let's stop waiting for someone else to go do something. You, my friend, can do it right now. Pray to the Lord. Get direction. Go out and be a testimony, whether it's through Facebook or through YouTube or technology. I know the world is kind of different right now, but we can reach out and touch others' lives and show them the true hope and show them that the world is a lie and the system of the world is broken and corrupt and full of anger and hate and strife and wickedness and fornication and idol worship. We rebuke and cast that all down to show where it belongs in Jesus' name. Thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Love you all. If you need anything, if you want to talk, chat, have prayer requests, hit me up at IsaacNewlyWed at gmail.com. That's IsaacNewlyWed at gmail.com. All right. Vaya con Dios. Dios te bagata. God bless you all and go with God.